So not too long ago, spotting an alligator here in our area was more like a myth than reality, but these days apparently they are out there and they are thriving. Yeah, and the Fort Worth Nature Center and Refuge is leading groundbreaking research right now to track, to tag, and eventually to tally the baby gators that are hatching in our own backyards. Nicole Nielsen spent the whole day with researchers as they released one gator back into the wild. It's all new for you at 430. It started like most adventures do with a bumpy ride into the unknown. Right now, we are headed to check out a nest. It's the most critical week of the year for alligator research when females lay and protect their eggs. Across a thousand acres of waterfront land in the Fort Worth Nature Center and Refuge, crews are searching every inch by foot, boat, ATV, and drone in search of freshly built nets and the gators guarding them. Wait, there she is. Nope, oh, so she's there's coming in. And where there's a nest, you better believe there's usually mom. Never far, never friendly. We're going to back up a little. This is really typical nest guarding behavior. The nests are hard to see, piled high like compost, but inside could be dozens of eggs. Each one could hatch a new alligator. So this alligator is not going to let us get close to that nest to get the data we need. And that's fine. We, we have the GPS location. We're not going to disturb her any more than we have to. So they strapped on a game camera to monitor from afar. That's awesome. You don't see this every day. And for a long time, many North Texans didn't see or believe it at all. Back in 2021, we first reported on a 10-foot gator seen sunbathing on a dock at this very nature center. The photos and videos went viral, many thinking they were fake. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize there's alligators in Fort Worth, but they are here and and we didn't know if they were nesting or not. For Jared Wood, it sparked something big. He started volunteer research that same year, knowing public interest was growing. By 2023, he launched a full-fledged study. And sometimes that means starting with the catch. Oh, she's being angry. When they can safely capture a gator, they bring it in to collect data. We're going to do measurements on her. We'll do body girth, tail girth. They're measured, weighed, and checked for health. They go six and a quarter. Then comes tagging. If it's a gator they've caught before, data's compared. If this is a recapture, we'll see where it was caught prior, where we caught it now. If they're not sure, they can test DNA. We can actually detect migrants using genetics. It's all to understand the population and how it's changing. And when it was time to put her back where she belonged, I got to help. Jared doesn't believe the population is growing, just holding steady. Most hatchlings never make it. Game cameras help reveal why. Nests often get raided by predators like raccoons. It's nature at its finest and fiercest. So far, they've found eight nests and believe there's somewhere between 70 to 100 alligators living at the park. If you have alligators, you have healthy wetlands. And if you have healthy wetlands, that, that's good for everyone. They're in year three of ongoing research and say by 2027, they hope to have enough information to release to the public. But for now, they're just letting nature run its own course, gathering data one sighting at a time. Well, yeah, they're here. And now that we're paying attention, I hope we embrace the, the coolness factor. In Fort Worth, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.